new variants of concern, most recently Omicron continues to emerge, thereby adding to challenges we are facing. WHO is coordinating with researchers and technical partners to better understand Omicron and the potential impact of this variant on our existing countermeasures, including vaccines. WHO encourages countries to enhance surveillance and sequencing of cases, share genome sequences on publicly available databases, and assess the risk of importation through international travel. It is not a time for complacency. As we move towards 2022, the third year of this pandemic, the Southeast Asia region has several priorities. First, accelerating COVID-19 vaccination towards national targets, while at the same time ensuring routine childhood immunization is continued. Second, continuing to implement comprehensive public health and social measures. Third, strengthening surge capacities and ensuring all aspects of healthcare have reserve capacities. Fourth, strengthening strategic information and risk assessment to guide response decisions and operations. Fifth, continuing to strengthen a whole of government, whole of society approach as called for by primary healthcare approach including by engaging with communities, civil society, and the private sector. And sixth, establishing primary healthcare-oriented resilient health systems as a basis, not only to strengthen health security, but to build back better, to achieve universal health coverage and the health-related sustainable development goals. Orienting health systems towards strong PHC services is a whole of government, whole of society endeavor.